In this video, we'll be going over the five hottest NVIDIA news stories of the week. Grok's massive GPU upgrade, Morgan Stanley's bullish outlook, Lambda Lab's funding bonanza, potential antitrust troubles, and NVIDIA's unique employee perks. Let's dive into our first story about Elon Musk's ambitious plans for his AI chatbot, Grok. Musk revealed on X that Grok 3 will be trained on a staggering 100,000 NVIDIA H100 GPUs. Each H100 GPU costs around $30,000 to $40,000, meaning a potential investment of $3 to $4 billion in hardware alone. Musk claims Grok 3 will be something special after training on this massive array of GPUs. This is a significant step up from Grok 2, which Musk said would require about 20,000 H100s to train. Grok 2 is set to launch in August, with Grok 3 slated for year-end. That's quite a rapid development cycle. While 100,000 GPUs sounds astronomical, it's actually dwarfed by some other tech giants. Mark Zuckerberg announced Meta will have purchased about 350,000 NVIDIA H100 GPUs by the end of 2024. That's more than triple what Musk is planning for Grok 3. Moving on to our second story, we've got some bullish news from Wall Street. Morgan Stanley analyst Joseph Moore has hiked his price target on NVIDIA from $116 to $144 per share. NVIDIA's stock has been on an absolute tear, up 158% so far this year. That's not just growth, that's stratospheric. Moore cites a compelling narrative in the AI and semiconductor space. Based on his team's checks in China and Taiwan, he believes sales of both H100 and H200 chips will remain strong. This is noteworthy because there had been concerns about a potential air pocket in sales as customers waited for the new Blackwell chips. Moore expects that as Nvidia transitions from H100, H200 to Blackwell, visibility and backlog will improve materially. He's betting that demand for Nvidia's chips will remain sky high, even as they roll out new and more advanced products. As someone who follows the tech industry closely, this level of sustained demand is remarkable. We're not just talking about a flash in the pan. This is starting to look like a long-term trend. But I can't help wondering if we're approaching bubble territory. How long can this growth be sustained? Are we setting ourselves up for a massive correction down the line? Our third story takes us into the world of AI infrastructure startups. Lambda Labs, a Silicon Valley startup renting out servers powered by NVIDIA's AI chips, is reportedly in talks to raise a whopping $800 million in additional funding. This comes after a $320 million raise in February and a $500 million loan in April, using their NVIDIA chips as collateral. Lambda plans to use this new cash to purchase more NVIDIA GPUs, associated cloud networking software, and hire additional staff. It's a classic case of striking while the iron is hot. With the AI boom showing no signs of slowing, Lambda is positioning itself to be a major infrastructure player. What I find fascinating is Lambda's pivot from facial recognition to AI and then to cloud computing. It's a perfect example of a company recognizing where the real value lies and adapting accordingly. Talk about being in the right place at the right time. Now, let's shift gears to our fourth story, which is a bit of a reality check for NVIDIA. According to Reuters, French antitrust enforcers are gearing up to charge NVIDIA with allegedly anti-competitive practices. This would be the first action by a global regulator against the AI chip champion. The charges would follow a raid of NVIDIA's offices last year. It's not just France eyeing NVIDIA with suspicion. Authorities in the US, EU, China, and UK are also scrutinizing its operations. Regulators are reportedly looking at NVIDIA's sales of graphics processors, efforts to secure supplies, and its investments. French Finance Minister Bruno Le Maire has claimed that 92% of GPUs are from NVIDIA. That's some serious market dominance. If NVIDIA is found to have breached France's antitrust laws, they could face fines of up to 10% of their global annual revenue. We're talking potentially billions in fines. Ouch! I've got to say, this feels like an inevitability. When you become as dominant as NVIDIA has in the AI chip space, you're bound to attract regulatory attention. It's like the old saying goes, with great power comes great scrutiny. But here's what I'm really curious about. How will this affect NVIDIA's strategy? Will they have to change their business practices? 
Could this open the door for competitors? And most importantly, what does this mean for the future of AI development? If regulators start putting the brakes on NVIDIA's dominance, could it slow down the pace of AI innovation? Let's end on a lighter note with our fifth story. Even as NVIDIA pushes the boundaries of AI technology, they're also innovating in employee benefits. The company offers free days, two extra paid days off per quarter when the entire company disconnects from work. NVIDIA engineer Ashwini Ashtankar shared how she spent her free days sitting on the bank of the Dudpathri River in the Himalayas, surrounded by pristine nature, with no city noise, no pollution, and crucially, no work emails. She and her husband, also an NVIDIA employee, hiked up a mountain, played in the snow, and explored forests and meadows. This policy aligns with NVIDIA's approach to innovation. As Ashtankar put it, sometimes, the most productive thing we can do is rest and let the soul catch up with the body. It's a reminder that even in the fast-paced world of tech, taking time to recharge can be crucial for maintaining creativity and problem-solving abilities. In an era where burnout is becoming a serious concern, especially in high-pressure fields like AI development, it's refreshing to see a company taking concrete steps to ensure its employees can fully disconnect. While cynics might argue it's just a clever retention strategy in a highly competitive job market, it seems like a win-win to me. Employees get a chance to recharge, and NVIDIA keeps its talent pool fresh and motivated. And there you have it, the five hottest NVIDIA news stories of the week. From Elon Musk's AI ambitions to potential antitrust troubles, it's been a roller coaster ride for the chip giant. Remember, none of this is investment advice. Do your own research before making any financial decisions. If you found this roundup helpful, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave a comment letting me know which story you found most interesting.